Hi, welcome to um, cloning uh, part two. In the last video, we talked about using the cloning brush, a uh, or the cloning tool. A real quick uh, overview. We clicked on the clone tool. We picked up the area that we wish to reproduce by hitting click and um, clicking on that area. Control click actually, and then we get a reference point. So when we start painting that is the point that we start at and as we move to the left um, what we do is we um, uh, that reference point also moves to the left and as we move to the right that reference point also moves to the right and I said on some of these instances that there were better ways of doing it than actually using the clone tool and one of the ways is uh, using the freehand select if I will, like, let's say if I wanted to eliminate this telephone pole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a freehand select of an area a little bit larger than the telephone pole. Actually, I'm going, not, uh, I'm going to do a um, select and none. I'm going to do a thinner area. But if you'll notice, I'm purposely using, um, you know, an, a sort of a jagged uh, area. So I'm going to hit Control C to copy the contents of that selection, and a Control V. You could also do it from the menu, and we'll do that in a second. And I'm just going to move this over, over on top of what I am trying to. Um, so I'm going to do a select. All. and then now since that I have um, done a paste over this image what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a floating selection so we're going to have to anchor that now hopefully um, you know with a little bit of practice you can take areas that are very similar to this and you can actually what you can do is you can do a much better job doing it this way than you can with the uh, with the cloning tool itself by taking areas like let's say um, this area we're going to do a freehand select and we're going to do this area well we're not going great here so I'm going to select none and we're going to try it again So I'm going to do a control C and a control V and then what I can do that's a, a copy and paste operation and just lay that entire section over what I'm trying to get rid of. And so then what we will do is this should be our uh, layers right here. We have a floating selection so we'll anchor that and if you'll notice it did a pretty good job of copying the grass. Now, if you get some repeating sections in there, you can go into the clone tool and you can select, like, let's say, immediately below it. Control click to select it and sort of eliminate that repeating pattern. So, another method of doing that is using the freehand select or the rectangle or the oval select. Select an area and here we'll do one more like let's say we want to eliminate part of this post we can use the rectangle select and in this case I want to feather the edges I'm going to take that and I'm going to do an enter and I'm going to do edit copy and then edit paste as a shorthand for the control C control V and just move that over now the nice thing about using this method and I'm not going to really take the time to make sure they're properly aligned but the nice thing about using this method is um, what we're doing is we're copying uh, multiple things at once and we're not uh, that might not be geared towards a specific reference point like this little patch of dirt here 
Um, what we did is we copied grass, dirt, grass, and moved that over in its exact relationship to each other and moved it over to eliminate that pole. Um, another example of this would be, let's use the rectangle tool, and we want to get clouds, horizon, uh, grass, and building. So we're going to do this using that select tool and we're going to do a control C to copy it and a control V and we're going to move that over and make sure our highlight or I mean our horizon is uh, pretty accurate and if you'll notice we'll come into our layers dialog here and since it was a paste we have a floating selection so we're going to anchor it and if you'll notice we've copied that horizon over but this building has been repeated. So I'll go into our clone tool and that's a rather large circle. So we're going to reduce the size of our circle to a smaller circle and we'll take the section right in between. Do a control click to pick up that section and eliminate that small building. And if we go into another select tool if you'll notice we limited it, eliminated the extra building and we made that look a lot more realistic. So that is using the selection tool to copy sections and then replace them. One more before we're done. We'll use the oval tool to select an area which we'll say is like this. We'll make sure the edges are feathered. Okay and we'll do a control C and now we'll do a control V which we've duplicated that section and now we can hide that bit of shadow so now come back to our layers dialog since we now have a floating selection and uh, we'll bring this up and we'll anchor that selection so now we have replaced um, a good portion of that on the ground now if you'll notice here we still have a section where uh, the dirt isn't connected. So what I'll do is I come up here to a rectangle select. Okay, this might be elementary for a lot of you, but we're going to get into some advanced stuff in the next video. Control C, Control V, and I'm going to move this over. And. And then what we'll do is, since we have another floating selection, we are going to um, anchor those two. And if you notice now, our dirt is connected. So you can pick up any kind of detail. Um, the, the cloning can become actually um, quite extravagant, as we're going to find in a couple, because what you can do is you can have layers which you apply filters, and we can use the cloning tool to uh, clone filters and uh, and we can clone in between layers and do all sorts of things but there again the objection or the objective is to get somewhere like this but uh, we're gonna do that uh, plus a lot more so the point is is um, we've come quite a bit of a ways here so that's the end of this video thanks for watching more cloning in the next video it's kinda like trying to teach somebody to ride a bicycle. It's uh, kind of a difficult thing to do, but uh, we're going to try. Thank you.